Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's going to be the re full review of the CRKT CEO. Now, I got this knife before I started my channel. It's one of the first knives I picked up. It's been pretty good, I'd say. The One of the downsides I have had of it is I haven't really been able to sharpen it correctly. But I don't know whether that's my sharpening skills, I should say lack thereof, or the knife itself. So, don't put a downside on that. Might just be me, guys. I am fairly new to trying to even sharpen these. This knife costs $39.95. And this version is the UK legal version that can be found on Heine Haynes. I don't know whether you pronounce it Henny Hine. Henny Hines. The handle material is glass reinforced nylon. The blade is 8CR13 MOV, as it is with most CRKTs. Now, let's show you something cool that they've done if I can get it in focus. The there we go, you can see the cutouts inside there. So they've kind of cut out the liners a bit to reduce weight. Now, this to me is a gentleman's carry knife. So let's say you're going to a wedding, you're going to a special event, throw this in your shirt pocket. Let's say you actually, what the name implies, a CEO. Go to work, throw it in your pocket. Well, no one's batting an eyelid on this. Now, just so you can see why no one's batting an eyelid, let me grab you a piece of cardboard. And I will try and show you to the best of my ability. Now, to me... This looks like a pen. And just to confirm it looks like a pen, I'm going to use this. Review will be coming soon on this. Now let's put them next to each other. There we go. See? Pen. Pen. Yeah. People could mistake it. People who don't know that CRKT is a knife company would definitely mistake this for a pen. Now... Let's put that back there. They make a locking version of this knife. So I do believe Henny Hines called, contacted CRKT, got them to make this for the UK, got them to make a special version for the UK. On the locking version, there is a thumb stud opener up there. No, easy deployment. I think it's yeah, I think it's a line lock on the locking version. Now, on this version we have the nail nick. Now, nail nicks are not my favourite opener well way to open a knife. Alright. This does open and open pretty easily and it has fairly I'd say it's not super strong, but it's strong enough to where I like it. Right. So, let's see. No, see, not really an app, but that. See? There we go. If you point the tip down more, it fails. But I'm like... <laughs> Sorry about that. I saw that in, some, in uh, another video and thought, nah, I'll give it a try, see whether... It enhances this. Um, the handle is glass reinforced nylon. If I haven't already said. On my version. Let's see. Let's see what I can get in focus. If you can see right there. Mine came with a little nick. In it. It doesn't detract from the knife. But. It's. It's there. I thought I'd point it out. 
Also, I don't know whether on all of them it does this, but if you can see, let me get it towards the camera so I can see it on the screen whether I'm doing it right for you. Um, there we go. You can see that. This does move slightly. Yeah, wobbles. See, it wobbles there. Now, as for play, play, there isn't any. As for centering, let me get it directly so I can see. There we go. I would call that fairly centered. Mm, yep, yeah, fairly centered. I think it has to be. I think it's forced to be centered with those liners and everything. And the fact, it doesn't have much room. Now, for me, I wasn't. As I think I've already said, but I wasn't able to sharpen this properly. And I don't know whether that's my skills as a sharpener or whether it's the knife. Now, it didn't hold an edge for very long, I can say that. For it being 8CR13, I have had more impressive 8CR13s. Held an edge for longer, easy to sharpen. Alright, now let's show you what I mean by this when I say I have tried to touch it up on my Lansky system, but I don't know whether I need to go from the top grit all the way down again. But see, it just the back of it cuts smooth. It's when you get to some spots, see, it's adequate enough, but does kind of get cut up a bit it feels fairly sluice. there we go see see towards the tip how I'm angle slice 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 nothing see Go towards the back, it's getting better. See what I mean? There is spots on this which aren't sharp. Now, could I get it sharp? I haven't the foggiest. I'm going to keep trying to get it sharp. If not, I will probably send this over to my friend Al, see whether he can do it, just to confirm whether it's the knife or not. Alright. A couple of things that I enjoy about this, just to balance out the negative of that sharpness, because I don't, I don't really want to need leave you guys with negativity or you know, say a knife's completely terrible until I can fully confirm that it's completely terrible. All right. Sorry about that ping. That was just a timer on something. Now. The look of it, that's one of the key things, that's one of the key reasons I bought it. The handle length, I can get a full four finger grip there and still have room for another finger down there. I can completely spread my hand out, there we go, see, bunch my fingers up, like that. I don't find that on many knives for me. That full four finger grip. So that impresses me. The material of the handle, I really like. It looks really fancy. Yeah, I wish it had the thumb studs. I really do because I do enjoy thumb stud opening knives. I do enjoy them a lot. Like my favourite knife at the minute. Is this the bulk plus excess from still opener? Now for size comparisons, uh, let's be a bit different today. I know I usually use my spot, my uh, Victorinox Spartan, but for small knives, let's put an opener on number five there. Uh, 
Let's go. Classic UK PK. And then since it's around and I enjoy it, let's go Boca Plus XS. You can see. Let's put them handle to handle. I apologise. But you can see where that fairly stacks up. It does have a pretty large blade, but it is pretty slender. Now, let's get my American knives out. Yeah. I recently did a review on this, the Sog Aegis. I'm going to open it quietly and gently because flick the other one the wrap model one now uh, you can clearly see kind of yeah, let's put them like this I know it might be a unique way to see but yeah I enjoy being a bit weird and unique now, there we go. You can clearly see those two are much larger. And, in my opinion, a little bit better. Now, if they would have made this in a better steel with the thumb studs, it'd be definitely in my top five for UK legal that budget knives for this year guys if you like a gentleman's carry knife i'd get this if you've had one of these and it was easier to sharpen put it down in the comments yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up Drop us a comment. I do enjoy talking to everyone. I try and reply to every single comment. Negative or positive. I appreciate them all. If you don't like this video, please tell me why so I can improve it for next time. I really do want to make videos you enjoy, that I enjoy. That's fun for everyone. Thanks guys. Bye bye.